These are scenes from outside Kenya's parliament building in Nairobi, where at least five protesters are dead and dozens injured. Hundreds of protesters were agitating against the proposed tax hikes that were being debated inside the house. Police in Nairobi opened fire and lobbed tear gas shells at the demonstrators. Some protesters even managed to briefly enter the parliament building and lawmakers were evacuated through a tunnel. A part of the building was also set on fire. Ruto, why are you killing our children? This is a massacre for our children. You have decided to kill our children. Government, treat us like, like foreigners in this place. We are rejecting every single, every single bill in that finance. We are rejecting it, every clause. We are not, we are not asking for any amendment. We are asking for them to reject it. The enemies have failed us. We are going to take power with our own hands. And we are not afraid. President Ruto, demands for whose resignation have increased among demonstrators, said the peaceful protests were hijacked by organized criminals. An otherwise legitimate expression of the fundamental rights and freedoms of assembly, demonstration, picketing, and petitioning of public authorities by a section of law-abiding citizens of the Republic of Kenya was infiltrated and hijacked by a group of organized criminals. Today's events mark a critical turning point on how we respond to grave threats to our national security. He has vowed to use the full strength of the security forces to prevent any further unrest. The army has now been deployed along with the police to bring the security situation under control. The protests are no longer just limited to the capital city of Nairobi and have spread to other cities like Mombasa, Kisumu on Lake Victoria, Garissa in eastern Kenya and in Ruto's hometown of Eldoret in western Kenya. So what is this controversial finance bill and why are Kenyans angry about it? The bill plans to raise an additional 2.7 billion US dollars in taxes and help cut down on debt. This in turn, protesters say, will add a massive burden of taxes on ordinary people who are already struggling to cope with the current cost of living. The initial bill, in fact, proposed an increase in sales tax on bread by 16% and added a 25% duty on cooking oil. The bill also planned to increase tax on the ownership of a new car. These proposals have now been scrapped, but demonstrators say they want the entire finance bill to be withdrawn. The provisions that still exist in the bill, which were passed by Parliament, Kenyans say, will make healthcare unaffordable and force them to pay a higher import tax. For more such videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the like button and follow for more news updates.